the sign of Jonah is me going from being the son of man to being the son of God. The 2,300 2, days and evenings until the sanctuary is reconsecrated and has become holy is news of me and the begotten. You becoming sons begotten makes the world holy. God breathing the breath of life into Adam is him living as a begotten son of God. I have received the same breath as Adam and Jesus did. Everything became level and straightened out is the truth that we are begotten and all believe. My army of heaven is the begotten. I've tasted the manna. A child says, I am a child. A man says, I am a man, not a child. Now is the season to bring forth the fruit. If I stop saying I am a begotten son, man will step over me. I am the light of the world and I am setting, letting the light shine to glorify God. The Father that is in heaven must reveal to you that you are begotten. The foundation rock of the church is that we are begotten. Even the gates of hell cannot overcome this revelation. The releasing of this revelation of begotten is also applying to those in the afterlife. The ones in heaven are learning this amazing fact in the sea of purification. When I learned, when it was revealed to me, it was also revealed at the same time in the afterlife. Binding the belief that we are not the sons of God begotten is also binding the belief in heaven for the believers in Jesus who died before us. That is why there is no sea, because we know we are begotten sons before we get there. Jesus told the disciples not to reveal he was the Christ, the Son of God, because he knew it would mean death. Jesus knew he would be raised from the dead on the third day and the third millennium. 
coming in his father's glory is when all proclaim he is the son of god he is revealed for who for being a begotten son of god everyone else is revealed for being lawless and wicked for denying we are also begotten revealed with powerful angels is revealed with the powerful messages the angels of heaven gave him. Jesus is glorified when people realize and feels like what begotten means. The Son of Man is doomed to destruction. The Son of God is exalted. The rebellion is people claiming we are not begotten, which revealed the men doomed for destruction because they refused to love the truth. By saying Son of Man, you are putting man above Son of God. So instead of putting God in the temple, you put man. You have been saying man made the children not God the son of man saying instead of son of God is from the devil claiming to be begotten puts Satan into the lake of fire The devil is the one who deceived man into thinking not begotten. The powerful delusion is when the sons of man claim, I am wrong, which is a lie. You will perish if you don't love the truth of being a son of God, because you shall still need to be saved. The powerful delusion is God has the leaders of the governments of the world saying, I'm not right. So those that trust man more than God will reveal themselves. They will do and show all kinds of things to prove I'm wrong. But when I do prove I'm right, they will fall and be destroyed. And so will everything they stand for. It is God who has revealed these truths to me. By saying we will return to dust is because we do not claim to be begotten from heaven. The secret power of lawlessness is that we don't know we have a power over us that we have been using without our knowledge. And that is that we're not begotten. Through God's grace and mercy, Jesus came to break the power that Satan had over all men since the beginning. This is the proper time to reveal the truth of begottenness. Heaven and earth is destroyed as far as the truth changes our concept of both. 